David, tell us about Main Street Capital and, and your role there. Uh, so Main Street Capital is a publicly traded BDC. We've been around as a public company for just over 15 years. And we were established and uh, back then to do exactly what we still do today, which is to invest in predominantly family-owned businesses and provide them the capital they need to grow and uh, a partnership to help them to manage that growth together to create value for everyone. But David, tell us what... What is a minority recapitalization? So a minority equity transaction is typically a transaction where the current owner of the business maintains the day-to-day -day control of the business, uh, makes the operating decisions, but brings on a partner for minority ownership interest in the company. Um, the reason they do that is to have capital from an external source to allow them to achieve either the liquidity needs or the growth opportunities that they have within the business. Uh, and they look to a third party to provide the capital to achieve those goals. Tell us why why these minority recaps that you just defined, why are they an attractive solution in today's market? So over the last year to 18 months, we've seen interest rates obviously increase quite a bit in the, in the marketplace. Uh, typical transactions for the private equity community are capitalized with debt capital along with equity capital. As those costs have ri risen for uh, private equity on the debt side of the business, valuations have, have come back a bit. So well, for those sellers who are looking to get the absolute top dollar that they can for their business, uh, they've got to make a decision in today's market whether they want to transact at potentially a suboptimal time. So this is a way to bridge the opportunity set to take on capital, achieve whatever their goals and objectives were by way of liquidity, and also have external capital to help them to grow the business. So we made an investment in a, in a vet practice uh, just about two years ago. And the, the purpose of that transaction was to provide some liquidity to the owners, but more importantly, to provide them the growth capital they, they needed to do strategic acquisitions across the country. Uh, as a result of our investment, both in debt and in equity, uh, the owners maintained the control. They got to achieve their goals and objectives of looking to tuck in acquisitions. They've made a half dozen or so acquisitions with our uh, capital support and more than doubled the size of the business in a two-year period of time. And David, tell us the role the technology plays in uh, your sourcing strategy of these particular kinds of transactions. We spend a lot of time uh, working, in our case, in Salesforce uh, and working with third-party data sources to have good information, not just have uh, dumb information, but have intelligent information and use that as a resource for uh, our, our internal purposes. Uh, an example would be we use SPS, uh, to integrate their, their knowledge and information sources into ours so we can look at intermediaries and know what transactions they did, when they did them, what industries they focus on, and that makes us better partners for the intermediaries that we track. Uh, David, tell us about a hobby that you have that uh, perhaps has some lessons that you can apply to uh, your business career. Uh, we're all very competitive here at Main Street. And we love uh, spending time together. So it's always humiliating when I go out on the golf course and realize that I'm about the worst golfer we have here at Main Street. Uh, but it's something I aspire to do uh, and spend time with our with my colleagues and with our portfolio companies getting better at a sport that is uh, not very kind to me.